I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. I want to talk to you about why Will Smith had no smoke for Laverne Cox in August Alcina. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Will Smith had no smoke for Laverne Cox in August Alcina. But he took out all his frustration out on Chris Rock. If you thought the G.I. Jane Joe was worth going up there smacking Chris Rock, a fellow superstar in the industry, another black man, so you can regain your manhood. If he wanted to really regain his manhood, he maybe should have struck out at Laverne Cox, who stood right in front of his face, the Transformer, and talked about the entanglement issue and laughed about it and mocked both Jada and Will. But Will had no smoke for that. You want to know why? Because if Will would have smacked Laverne Cox, the LGBTQI community would have destroyed his career. And let me tell you something. Will Smith not only would have been arrested, he would have been found guilty, and everything he worked for would have been over with. And you wonder why did Will not go after August Elsina? And I was sitting here thinking, and I said, not because... He's just 25. I think he may be 27 years old right now. Is that August Alcina may have more information than you think. You know, sometimes when men come out and talk and talk about relationships that they have with a woman, what if August Alcina comes out and does an interview with someone huge and talk about their relationship and we don't know shit will could have been a cuck i don't know but why when you go after the man who was swimming in your wife's lake a man who came out and made a video with rick ross talking about entanglement there was no frustration taken out on him a man who's coming over to your house, possibly eating your food, watching your TV, then taking a swim with your wife. But you don't have no smoke with him. But you got that smoke for Chris Rock. And people say, why did he have a smoke for Chris Rock? Because you saw the video. He thought the joke was funny. And to his wife gave him that special look you know that look that she give you at home when she's humiliating you telling you ain't no man you ain't the man that Tupac was because if Tupac was here he would have handled this situation differently and Will felt as though this is the time that I could prove to my wife that I'm the man that she always wanted so he goes up to the stage and smacks Chris Rock, knowing that Chris Rock is not going to lash out back at him. Chris Rock held his composure, continued his routine, and let the incident go. He refused to press charges. But the reason why Will did that is not only did Will know that Chris Rock is the only person he could have did it to in Hollywood and gotten away with it. See, it's kind of like the streets. You could kill a black man, nobody really cares. See, but if you in Hollywood, there's kind of like a ladder. At the top of the ladder is the small hats, if you really want to know. Under them is the LGBTQI community. Under them 
is maybe the Asians and other group. But at the bottom is the black man. And see, you can do whatever you want to the black man. And there will be no, I repeat, no discipline at all. Nothing will happen to you. And Will knew that because Will is one of the smartest men, not only in Hollywood, but in this country. He said, I can regain my manhood by humiliating another black man by smacking him. Because a smack is a humiliation technique. When you fight a man, you ball up your fists. When you smack a man, you humiliate him. And he knew there will be no, I repeat, no criminal act. Nobody will press charges. He knew that before he did it. But if he had put, if he would have lifted his hands to a small hat, member of the LGBTQI community, or any other community, he know right now he could possibly be in county jail, getting bailed out. But he knew if he did it to Chris Rock, he could go back to his seat. Not only could he go back to his seat, he could get his award, say his speech, go home, have a fine meal with his family, and put up a fake ass apology. And nothing to happen to him. Isn't that like what happens in inner city America every night? The black man's life or worth is less than anybody's. That walks the face of this damn earth. And we see why Will wanted to smoke. From Chris Rock. This is a total embarrassment. For black men, we took a big L because of the two people who were as prominent as they were in the entertainment industry. That one showed out his nigga side, the person we least thought would. But Denzel made that great statement at your highest point, the devil will come for you. And he came for Will Smith. And Will Smith acted just like a nigga. Sunday night. So when people want to celebrate protecting the black woman, he wasn't doing that. He was trying to protect his manhood by using the most vulnerable, Chris Rock, to gain it back and somehow get his wife back. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.